all right everyone we are back at it another day of cleaning and also back to school so we are back on it for the season hope you guys are ready to join your girl in some cleaning Hey guys welcome back for some more cleaning we are back again at it if you are new welcome so happy to have you here and if you are back at it with me welcome back guys <laughs> back for some more cleaning so we have gotten back into school mode first week of cleaning getting the routine going getting some cleaning done Whew. well yeah so it's been pretty interesting and I'm pretty sure it's been very interesting for you as well. Just trying to get back into that routine. It's pretty hard at first, but of course, once we get back into it, it'll smooth out, hopefully. So now we got a bunch of cleaning to do around the house. We are gonna be downstairs, upstairs, just getting around some dusty areas and just getting it together. So I hope you guys are ready to get some cleaning done, ready to get into it and just get that cleaning going that's pretty much it guys i'm gonna be chit chatting with you guys like i always do and i'm hoping that you guys can get some cleaning done as well let's get to it all right guys here we go all right we're gonna start in the living room yes we have a mess to clean up so we begin in the downstairs and then we are going to make our way upstairs so yeah let's get started i'm just moving all this stuff getting all this stuff off the sofa then all the things off the floor i'm going to be getting to that as well now this was the first morning the girls had school so of course you do not see them here in this video but yeah of course, there's still messes because I have my other two little ones with me, but not as much as the summer messes you guys are be seeing. So, not that bad, not that bad, but still some messes, of course. So, right now, as you see, my kids passing by, just going bonkers. I'm just finishing up putting all the toys and everything away also have to explain the microwaves our microwave that is in the kitchen is not working we haven't been able to fix it so we got another one but of course since we're moving there's no point of putting it up in the kitchen and there's no room on the counters now i'm just vacuuming and getting everything cleaned up and almost done just almost there and my kids oh lord my kids are super hyper this morning <laughs> just going bananas of course as kids do um but i'm just continuing my cleaning trying to stay in my mode in my vibe and yes finally now i'm moving up to this disaster they were upstairs jumping guys they were jumping on the bed jumping on the bed and so a lot of the clothes fell off the bed crazy all mind you these clothes are clean okay clean and they were like all over the floor so of course mom life reality check yes this happens so now that i got all the clothes off the floor i'm just working into this pile i'm gonna be putting this pile away and getting these clothes done Now that the girls are back to school, I feel I can breathe a little more. Although I do have my two little ones that still keep me really, really, really busy. But um, I have to be honest, I do miss my two big girls. I do miss them a lot. But two, I mean, it's good that, you know, they're in school and 
we're back to a certain routine just back to business you know mornings are more uh i would say like scheduled um once i get up i get the girls ready get the kids ready if the girls aren't taking the bus i take them to school come back home and just get things done so that's what i'm doing right now getting things done while i can later on just get into making dinner girls will get home i'll feed them everyone eats and then of course they have some time to themselves whether it's doing homework or doing a certain activity and then of course we just get the whole getting into bed taking a shower all that good stuff so yes pretty much that's it for the weekdays on school nights and of course i do my cleaning as well in the afternoon once dinner is done i'll do that cleaning with the kitchen and just tidying up so yeah there's a, there's always you know it's a lot a lot more cleaning you know do some stuff in the morning and do some in the afternoon at least now that i'm able to do a little more in the morning now that the girls are in school the afternoon isn't so crazy because it's not so much all in one like at once so not bad still a lot to do though always always a lot to do in the house there's always something and of course laundry there's always laundry to do Now I'm just finishing up, almost done, almost, almost there. I get so anxious when I get towards the end of the palm, like, oh my gosh, only a few more pieces of clothing. I just want to like toss it and put it aside and just not even do it. But I'm almost there getting all my sweaters hung up and these last pieces of clothes put away. Yes, so finally done. Now I'm just putting the piles away into the room and just separating them so I can start putting them in the dressers and, you know, putting them where they belong. So downstairs is done we are in the second day of cleaning just dusty 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 behind places 
need to be cleaned so i'm gonna get to that and also the girls room needs a really good cleaning so i'm gonna get to that as well so yeah cleaning continues guys and of course cleaning never ends right but anyways let's get to this Ooh, all right so yes like i said this is the next day i was so happy to hear that my girls had a great day they love their classes they love their teachers so far <laughs> so far everything is going well so yes it was pretty good i was pretty exhausted i'm not gonna lie pretty tired and <sighs> of course cleaning must go on so right now i'm just cleaning on top of my dresser getting all this stuff put away cleaning it up throwing away trash just getting all this dust off of here because yes there was a lot of dust and it was just time to get rid of it Now, I just realized that my makeup box was pretty dirty and inside one of my little blush uh, blushes was literally broken and went everywhere. So I had to clean it out. I had to clean it out and get it all just cleaned up and wipe it down because it really did need a good wipe down and just organize it just a little bit, a little bit better. So now that I'm just continuing to clean up my little makeup box, it's looking a lot better. It, it was just a lot of powder and stuff spilled in it, and it was just very easy to clean. It wasn't that bad. I was able to air it out really quickly and get it cleaned in just a good amount of time, which is always so good. Now I'm just putting my brushes away. Honestly, I don't even put makeup on a lot. I usually just put some makeup on. Usually, like if I'm going out a special occasion, church or anything, that's when I put makeup on. But as you guys can see, when I'm home, I don't really usually put makeup on. Just like, ugh, I just don't be having time to be putting makeup on. I don't know. I don't know. But anyways, brushes weren't dirty, so I didn't have to really clean them yet. And they were pretty much brand new. But now, we're moving on to the side of my bed, which is a hot mess. This is just really a hot, hot mess. So, I'm just getting it cleaned up and going to get all this dust that you're going to see out of the way.
Okay, so there was just so much dust on this shelf of mine. I have not wiped this thing down in forever. Like, it was just sitting there, just holding on to dust like crazy. So, I went in and was just dusting it off. And as you can see, I was just already so, oh, so irritated. <laughs> but I got it dust free and I was able to get my things fixed up and get it looking a lot better. Also, I had some empty bottles I had to get rid of. Like, I'm the I'm the person that, like, literally holds on to empty bottles. Or, like, that those bottles that have, like, just a little bit of lotion left. <laughs> and I end up just taking off the top and trying to, like, stick my finger in to get the last bits of it. And it just sits there sometimes. And I don't even finish it all. And so I'm just like, okay, I gotta get rid of it, finally. Because it's just sitting there. And it's pretty much done. But, you know. I'm always like, oh, what if I need that little bit that's stuck in all the way on the bottom? But yes, got rid of them and just just got it together with this with this vanity of mine. Now I go in to vacuuming, putting my nice smelly powder on the carpet, getting it to smell so, so good, and then vacuuming it up. Alright, yes, voila, my room is done. Now, going into the girls' room, as you can see, it's a hot mess, just everything is crazy looking. So, I'm gonna get down, I'm gonna get to it and get it all cleaned up. The sheets definitely do have to be cleaned up, and I have to check out the mattress, see how it's, and then get to everything else. Okay, so there are some stains on the mattress. I'm gonna go in and deep clean the mattresses, only on the spots. I'm, I'm gonna try to like go on it lightly because I don't want it to take a long to dry up. So I am gonna deep clean the stains and just get rid of those stains because yeah, there's a few of them and I definitely don't wanna leave it like that and then just clean the sheets and then just put it on top of a dirty mattress. Like, mm mm. It's not working so um yeah i'm gonna show you the stains and then i'm gonna go right into just getting them out so this is here's a stain here and they're i mean it's not huge it's not like they're taking like the whole bed i think that's probably the only one oh wait and there's more here um so i guess you know over time mattresses will get stains on them um, especially if whatever they're drinking, whether it's like juice or whatever, um, seeps in a little bit. I mean, nothing's ever a hundred percent. After a while, you know, with a bunch of stuff sinking in, it's bound to like, you know, go through the sheets. 
all right so i'm gonna get to the mattress gonna clean up all the stains all the stains do come off which is awesome and the mattresses are usually very very easy to clean which is great and i think a lot of these stains also are from not having the mattress covered while i'm washing the sheets and the girls still get on them and sometimes they're still drinking juice or whatever it is and they do get stained but again as you can see i mean the cover does a pretty good job in keeping the mattresses clean it, it was just a few stains on it here and there and let me tell you it's been months months since i've cleaned these mattresses so really wasn't that bad yes as you can see a nice clean mattress voila and now i'm just gonna be moving on to the next one and doing the same thing Voila, another great mattress. As you can see, there was just a couple stains I wasn't able to get out. I did go back in and was able to take out the dark one, but that pink one, I don't know what that is. It seems kind of hard, so I don't even think it's a stain. It's something just stuck on there that I can't get off, but it's fine. It's all right, as long as it's clean. And now I'm just moving on to everything else. Definitely got to get to these sheets that are just all thrown on top of here that was driving me crazy so finally got to it and cleaned it up Everything is just squished up in this corner. I try to make the best of it though and make the best of the space. Now I'm working my way to the dresser, cleaning up on top of it, putting everything away, tidying up. As you can see, I have some clothes on top of the dresser that need to be put away as well. Not too many, but there are a few that I'm going to be putting in the closet and also in the dresser.
Now finally finished and voila, finally a clean room. And last but not least, we're getting to the carpet. I have to clean up the carpet. Of course, I put my good smelling powder on the carpet and get it nice and clean. Alright, your girl is pretty wiped out. I'm pretty tired. <laughs> I'm pretty tired. I'm always, listen, I'm always tired, okay? Being the mom, cleaning, doing what I gotta do. It just, it's a never ending story. But yes, we got it done. Once again, I am finished. I was able to do what I had to do. I hope you guys were able to finish up a bunch of things at home and had a good time doing it with your girl. So I want to thank you guys for joining me. I will see you back on the next video. So surely miss you and see you back on the next one. So have a fabulous day, guys. Bye.